Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate taking time out of y'all's busy schedule, stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is headed on 7 o'clock in the evening, uh, Tuesday the 14th of December, 2022. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 21 degrees Celsius, 88% humidity, uh, 69 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gone down a degree. <laughs> uh, so, sitting out here on the porch, I just went, had to go to Dollar General, uh, pick up some some uh, uh, some soap, some Dawn dish detergent. About uh, I, I use Dawn for everything. I use it for my laundry. I use it in the shower. Blah blah blah. Um, and I had laundry that needed to be done, and I was out of soap. So, ended up making a quick run up there. That was all I got was the dawn. But, uh, so, several weeks ago, I guess it was several weeks ago, I picked up a shower chair, shower bench on the curb. And, uh, not because I needed it in the shower, I thought it would work out here. And it does. It's up nice and high. Uh, actually, it, I've got it up so high my feet don't touch. So that's an unusual thing for me. It is a little hard, but with a blanket or a nice folded towel underneath of me, it's not too bad. You would think with all the, the padding that I carry around, I wouldn't have a problem. But anyway, it works. So I've been using it for, like I said, a couple of weeks. But anyway, uh, I did this little alcohol burn burner thing last night, and I closed them off before they were out of fuel, and just left them sitting. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's it's holding it's, it's holding the fuel, so I don't know that that is. Oh, and if you close it up like that, it makes it it makes it it sucks it right down. It's it's very very tight. So I don't know how long it'll it'll hold it, but I think that's a good thing. So like if you were out using it and you know like closed it up and needed to want to use it the next morning, it should still be go good to go for you so uh yeah not a whole lot else happening today uh today's kind of like one of those by days where you know i'm not going to one of the kids houses and um actually i don't have other than that needing to go out to get that, that detergent i didn't have to didn't really need to leave uh, i did a load of wash uh, and realized i needed I needed more soap. So while it was running, I went to the store, came back, swatched, swapped that load out. <coughs> I've got another load running. <sighs> and I probably have another full load. And then I found a blanket the other day on the, on the side of the road, a moving blanket. And I'm pretty sure it just blew off of the top of somebody's pickup. And because it's other than a little bit of grass on it, it's not dirty. So it's not like you know a homeless person left it or something like that. And the way it was sitting, uh, it just it looked like it had blown off and you know kind of floated down and landed. Anyway, I I put it in a plastic bag, put it in the back of the truck, and I think I'll try to give try to give it a wash. I'm not sure if I've got a tiny washer. That's why I've actually got three loads of wash to do. <laughs> because I've got such a tiny washer. I can only do like two pairs of pants and a couple shirts. Maybe a couple towels. So uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's taking some getting used to. I mean, I used to use, well, back, at, back when I had the house house, we had a heavy duty machine that we had bought when the kids were little. And I could go a month and not have enough clothes to overfill that thing. 
uh, moved into moved over here to the, to the mobile homes and I had I, I bought a stackable washer and dryer that was smaller <clears throat> but it wasn't tiny you know so unfortunately I ended up I think I overloaded that or something and blew the clutch out of it so the, the one that I've got now <clears throat> became available was given to me which is cheaper than repairing what you've got right so I took this but like I said it's about three quarters of the size of the smaller one that I used to have <clears throat> so you know I can do like the, the fitted and, and flat sheet and like four pillowcases five pillowcases maybe a couple of shirts or a couple of towels that's about it, and that's that's pushing it. So uh, usually I just do I just do the bed linens, just do the, the, the sheets and the, and the pillowcases, and uh, that's one load. <laughs> so not what I'm what I'm used to, but you know that's what happens when you're when you're single, and you're I guess I guess when you're older I don't know if that has a whole lot to do with it, but the same thing with cooking. You know, I love to cook, and I love to do, <laughs> I love to cook, you know, um, five pounds of chili is, is, I can, I can blast that out, try to make a pound of chili, or a half a pound of chili, <sighs> I'm lost, you know, I'm used to going, Ch -ch 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 -ch. that looks good, and now it's like, that was too much. Oops. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'm getting better at it. Don't don't get me wrong. I do, you know, I persevere and I end up eating a lot of a lot of goofs. But you know, there, then there's things that things that I'd like to make, and in order to buy the buy all the ingredients, you know, it's you got to buy big jars of this and big cans of that and What if it's the only thing, you know, the, the only time you're going to use it is to make up that one dish. So, uh, it's, it can be, it can be challenging. It's kind of like <laughs> going to my daughter's. I'll probably mention this again tomorrow, but uh, going over to Pandemonium Palace tomorrow. And I had said I wanted to make up the Parmesan Alfredo or the garlic alfredo hash browns and add some chicken and some some vegetable to it uh, that the kids would eat um, and go for that go for there but the daughter wrote me back and said that she had <clears throat> julienne potatoes which are basically hash browns with a cheese sauce and she didn't have any more chicken but she had hamburger so, all right. I mean, that's not a that's not a major switch up, but it's not what I had in mind. So, uh, tomorrow night's casserole will probably be cheesy hash brown potatoes with ground beef. Uh, need to kick that up a little bit though. Maybe some taco seasoned meat, or uh, I don't know. Just like you do with macaroni and cheese, what do you, you know, uh, chili, chili mac and cheese works. Maybe chili and cheesy potatoes. That would probably work too. I don't know. Uh, regardless, I'll put, I'll throw something together. She's good at throwing me, throwing me curveballs like that. Um, and you just, you know, you, you, you back down and punt. It, it's kind of like when you're on a budget budget and you go shopping for dinner or, you know, meals for the week, you may not be able to get what's on your, on your list where you may find something while you're shopping that's, you know, on a reduced price. 
So it's one reason I, one of the reasons I'm not real crazy about doing the, doing your shopping online and having it delivered. Because if you ask for, you know, two pounds of, two pounds of chicken, and you know they go and they grab a two pound package of chicken, but right next to it is two packages of. Or two pounds, you know, two packages or several packages of chicken tenders that have been reduced, and you have to, you can get two pounds of chicken tenders for two dollars less than you get that pa that that package of two pounds of chicken. I know what I would do. I would change my recipe. I'd be using tenders. <laughs> so, uh, you know, or, or the same thing with with hamburger. If you you know you want a family package of hamburger. But they reduced the uh, the smaller packages for you know, quick sale because they're they're in the back grinding up more and there's you know three one pound packages out front so the butcher comes out and slashes those prices down dollar dollar and a half or whatever so you end up getting you know more meat than the family package for less than the family package. You just need to be able to adapt. Pretty much, I mean, that goes pretty much with anything out there, whether it's whether it's cooking or you know creating something, or if you're out in the woods and you know you need to you need to overcome. So uh, anyhow, I don't know, how did I get on that conversation? <laughs> Oh man. So looking around, I need to put a roof on this. At least at least something to keep like there are so many leaves on here. I end up sweeping this every other day. Sometimes every day. The steps get covered with leaves, which I probably won't be able to stop. Um, got a couple of ideas on putting like I found this PVC pipe. I can uh, and a half. I could use that to put up to put up poles and put a put a tarp on top of it. Over here, I've got a a uh, pool scoop handle, school pool net handle, or vacuum handle, or whatever. There's really nothing wrong with it, other than you know the net looks bad. Shoot, that pole runs thirty-five or forty bucks, but I could extend it up, and make temporary uh, pole, you know, to have a an overhead awning. I actually thought about it to go into the prep boogie, but I've already got uh, poles in there, so. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Anyhow, it's a gorgeous night out here tonight. Hopefully it stays like this when I come out to, to cook dinner for tonight. Low wind and, you know, it's not, it's not warm, but it's not cold. I've got on, you know, kind of a thermal long sleeve and I'm cozy, so... We'll see. I really need to get that Kamal seasoned up, or at least oiled up before it rusts again. So I was going to do that the other night. I just decided not to. Grabbed one of my already seasoned frying pans and just cooked up a hamburger. And yeah, anyway. I have an idea for tonight. Tonight's Cast Iron Wednesday, right? So, uh, yeah. I've got an idea in my head for tonight. We'll go ahead and season that pan and then see about making something up. <laughs> I'm sitting here. There is a light in that yard, the apartment complex over there. <laughs> Oh man, it's aggravating. 
Don't do it, Doc. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't know that I could actually hit it with this thing or not. This is not. This is El Cheapo Dollar General novelty item. If I really wanted to get that thing down, I'd go and get one of my one of my good wrist rockets or something. But let's say that I can't say the thought didn't cross my mind sitting here with it right in front of me. Sometimes it's difficult being an adult, right? <laughs> oh. I do not need a chaperone. I do not need a chaperone. I do not need a chaperone. I need a chaperone. <laughs> Anyhow. Oh, man. I think I hear my hear my washer on its on its final thing on its final thing. And the dryer went off a little bit ago. So need to get in there and swap that stuff around and see what's see what's going on. But anyway. I guess we'll go ahead and cut it a little short today. And uh yeah. Let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Wherever it is, I'll leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around your social media, that'd be fantastic. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised. Oops, excuse me. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We're not promised our next breath. Until I see you all again, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, y'all.